So a while back, um, a friend of ours, Mariette in Australia, gave me some boom gel stains and I did a review and I posted a video, but it has gotten lost in YouTube land. So I'm gonna do another one. So today I'm gonna use um, Native Violet Purple Boom Gel Stain, looks like this. I'm also gonna use the Sterling Wax White Boom Gel Stain. And they didn't send me a yellow, um, cause they sent me a couple more colors. So I'm gonna use Bright Yellow from Just Resin. So I'm gonna see how these guys work in epoxy. All three of these, no, yellow's not um, gonna be any kind of transparent. But I did a piece not too long ago with some boom gel stains, it's time lapse. And it looked kind of amazing with the purple and the yellow together. So I'm gonna do that again. I hope. So the resin I'm using is Craft Coat. I don't know why I'm making three of these. Maybe I'll put some gold in it. This is Craft Coat from Stone Coat Countertops. If you're interested in this resin, hit up uh, stonecoatcountertops.com and use the code YALL, Y-A-L-L, all caps, no punctuation, and um, It'll give you $10 off your $100 order. So since this is a stain, I don't know if you have to mix it up. It probably tells me on the back since there's a whole bunch of information. Thank you, ma'am. Absolutely not. No worries. So this is by Cast. Cass's Creations, and it is imported, so to get it, you have to contact them and get them to ship it to you, but if it works really well in resin, then it'll be worth it. The last time we used it, we had to add a little bit more than I probably would have, because it is a gel stain, so it's gonna be slightly translucent anyways. Even though it looks a little bit like an acrylic paint at first glance. So it's mixing well into the resin. Yeah, it's slightly translucent. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see a little bit through it. It gets thin, that light purple. That just means you're gonna be able to see other colors under those colors. And I believe the white was the same, but we'll see. I would just be using only the Boom Gel stains, but because I really never use only one brand in my artwork, slightly translucent as well. Um, I wanted it to be true test um, for how I work every day, so that's why I'm mixing other brands in with it. Not into those, but into the piece. Y'all know I'm not big on yellow, but yellow and purple work well together from time to time. So those boom gel stains are mixing in the same amount of ease as this epoxy paint is. But you can see it's not really changing color. It's consistent, so that means it's opaque. I'm gonna keep this separate. It's just a little cup of resin. And as usual with my work, I lay down just a thin coat of resin that just makes it easier for my colored resin to maneuver over the surface of my canvas. I do this 
basically on every piece that I do, regardless of the brand of resin or the brand of paints that I'm using. And I'm also pouring on a canvas today. This is just a 10 by 10 from Blick. It's not expensive, but I did, um, it was pretty loose, so I had to prep it. And we have videos up on how we prep our canvases so that they're tighter and can work well with um, a pour on it. I'm just adding a little bit of heat so that I can pop these bubbles that I mixed in when I put the part A and part B together. When you work with um, translucent or transparent colors, you really don't want to um, use too much heat because then your colors are more likely to mix with each other. And it's, not, it's not a good look. I really never have an idea or design when I start a piece. I just kind of add a color and then build from there. You can see it's, the color is kind of like two tones. So maybe it didn't mix in as easily as I thought it would, but it's definitely translucent. And some white. I feel like it needs some other color. Mm. What do I have handy? What is this? Turquoise C's. Mm. So this is turquoise C's. By color obsession. Really should be mixing something brighter. Almost like mm. It's hard with the yellow. probably be too dark of a color to mix into this. So we're going to put some Tiffany in. Not a lot. I already have way too much resin on this board. For a 10 by 10 you should be able to get away with only mixing like probably three ounces. And on the board right now, I probably have five ounces. It's a little bit much. But that's fine. All right, let's put some heat on it and see what it does. So we will see how it sets up.